In this video, we will go over if Microsoft Cloud is safe to use. This includes Active Directory, OneDrive, Amail, and others. Let's start with Active Directory. AD is widely used in corporate environments. AD security is very important as it can be used to pivot to the rest of the network. The median time to breach an AD is only 16 hours, most of which are secured with Microsoft Defender only, which is easy to disable. At Black Hat last year, or Yair demonstrated a simple way to turn OneDrive against the user. Turns out OneDrive writes the access token into log files which can be read by any program on the computer. This token can be exfiltrated and gives the attacker full access over the user's OneDrive. By default, OneDrive includes all user documents, pictures, etc. with full access. The attacker can encrypt all user data and can delete backups and file histories. This is all invisible to the user because OneDrive is inherently trusted by Windows. This has since been patched. Speaking of trusted programs, there are a number of trusted programs that are signed by Microsoft that have unintended behaviors which can be used for potentially malicious purposes. A list of these can be found on the Loba's website which is linked below. Another ransomware attack on Active Directory used SharePoint Online. SharePoint is used for 365, OneDrive and others. This attack used a compromised Microsoft Global Sauce account to breach the network and steal data. Attackers are also using SQL databases as an attack surface and using breach databases to pivot to different techniques, such as remote access trojans. Attackers used a legacy account to gain access to the email accounts of some of Microsoft's senior leadership. The breach took around two months to be detected. In conclusion, if Microsoft cannot be trusted to secure their internal network systems, then their closed source products should not be treated as secure. Thank you for watching, click the links on screen to subscribe or watch a video YouTube thinks you may like.